Hi, you're listening to Subrest Radio. I'm sitting here. All the listeners today are going to have a great treat because I'm sitting with probably the hottest Bollywood jewelry there is of recent times, which is Rithik Roshan and Priyanka Chopra. How are you? And welcome to London. Thank you so much. We're very excited to be here. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Okay. Um, how does it feel being in London promoting Krish 3? Well, London's always been so much... Um, we've always got so much love and affection every single time we've come here with any film. And um, I'm very excited to be bringing um, Krish 3 here because it's, um, it's a super incredible, um, power-packed movie full of everything you could ever want from a film. So I'm very excited to be here. Okay. How about you, sir? Well, London has been uh, one of my favorite places to be in for many reasons. Uh, apart from the from the amazing welcome that we get here every single time we're here uh, for our movies or for our shows, uh, <clears throat> uh, the people, the food, uh, my vacations which I've spent here, I've shot so many films here. So uh, this is one of the places that I really love being in. It's like my second home. So uh, <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Even though it's so damn cold, <laughs> it, is still, it, it is still an amazing place to be. Thank you very much. Well, I'm happy that you love London so much. Um, if you don't mind, I've got some fan questions as well. I'm trying to incorporate the same. Of course. Oh, please. Okay. Um, uh, this question is for Priyanka. Um, we understand you're playing a baddie and a goodie in Krish 3, um, so the rumor goes. Um, we were, um, your fan called Iman would like to know, did your baddie role remind you of your role from Ezra's? Not at all. Um, Ezra's is a very different baddie than, than I am in this film and I'm not really, I don't know how to explain it. I mean it's like uh, humanity, right? Everyone is a little bit of good and a little bit of bad. And uh, Priya's character I think develops and goes into, um, you know, realms which you don't expect. And, and for me that was a lot of fun to play, you yeah, know, the really duality of... It's really to articulate it's, because of the kind of screenplay yeah, we have. It was, the duality of it is, is really difficult to say without actually giving away giving the plot away of the, the film. film. Okay. Let's just say that... Um, my character is the most important character in the film, you see, <laughs> because, you know, um, the superhero is after me, the supervillain is after me, and I'm like, boys, stop fighting over me, come on now. So, yeah, that's what the film's about. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for revealing as much as you could. Um, this one's... Actually, I've got you over with all the characters focused on herself. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's not the case. <laughs> Look who's talking, that's Ruthie Groshan. <laughs> okay, so there's one question for you from um, a fan called Nazia. She said, during the Chris, Chris 3 shoot, do your sons get a chance to meet you when you're in the Rohit get-up? And if they did, what was their reaction? I can't remember if they actually saw me in the Rohit get-up. Though they did see my makeup test in the house, and they didn't really utter a single word, because I, I think they were a little shell-shocked. Uh, seeing their father going, uh, you know, first they, they like made me bald, and then they took, uh, you know, the, the mold, and then they made me look old, so they had no idea. I mean, they were like uh, uh, six and four at that time. So I think they were just stunned as like, you know, what the hell are they doing to my daddy? <laughs> you know? But now when they see the film, it's kind of uh, going to be a nice educative process for them as well to uh, understand now that, oh, that was, you know, a process in uh, uh, film making. So uh, they've been on the set as well and seen me as Krish. Again, they haven't uttered a word. I, I'd like to think that they're like really, you know, they're thinkers and they, you know, they're, they're really absorbing it all <laughs> Actually, in. Actually, they don't care. <laughs> they, just, they just, just don't, don't care. care. You know. Uh, they're born in a film family. <laughs> They've been doing this for generations. Yeah, they don't well, care. We, don't give it so much importance for <laughs> <or> yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, it did. Uh, actually, to be honest, it did affect me. Like, kuch to bol, yeah? <laughs> you know, they're not saying anything. Yeah, I'm jumping out from these, uh, these, these six buildings. They're and four. Stop it. Yeah, well. Vijayari. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my final question is, uh, obviously you've done a few films together. Your last was Agni Birth, which was an absolutely amazing film. Um, how has your working relationship changed? Has it changed? Has it developed? Has it got better? <laughs> well, I, I, it's not changed. Uh, it's still the same. <laughs> uh, unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know. It's not changed, but I think it's great. I think it's great because uh, I think we make the perfect match to uh, shoulder such humongous films that, that we do. Together. We've always done we massive, yeah, massive films, uh, and I don't think that would have been possible because uh, uh, you know no man can achieve greatness uh, in isolation. Um, so it's always about teamwork, and uh, she's a team player. Uh, she's right here, and uh, she's beautiful, and uh, she's a team player, and and she's Priyanka Chopra. <laughs> and <laughs> no, like, like, like talking to yeah, her about yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> at least for me. 
um, when I when I did Krish, I was just two years into movies, and Krish. Just trying to make me feel old now. No, eh? no, no, no. My point <laughs> is, my point is, I've worked my entire career with Rithik, and I'll explain why. Because Krish took like two years to make. Then we did Agnipath, which took like two and a half years to make. Then we did Krish three, which took like three years to make. <laughs> so my whole career, I've only worked with Rithik consistently. <laughs> so, so yeah, we get along famously because we didn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, but you know she she's really a good team player, and uh, uh, that's what films like this, uh, like 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 these need a good team. You know, it's great. So a really really quick last question: um, Would you like to say anything to your fans? We've had a lot of interaction from your fr fans on Twitter, on Facebook. They wanted to uh, you know get shout outs individually. I'm really sorry that I can't do that. The list is endless. Is there any message that you'd like to give um, to well, uh, about Krishna? First of all, a big shout out to all of you from Priyanka <laughs> and me. Uh, we love you and uh, watch Krish three and come with the hugest expectations because we really want to know where we stand this time. Oh, so, well said. Yeah, baby. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Huge shout out, lots of love and uh, Krish 3 is coming on November 1st and with lots of love, a lot of hard work and I really do hope you enjoy it. Okay, that was Rithik Roshan and Priyanka Chopra. Thank you very much for spending time with us and we wish you well with Krish 3. This is Amrita signing out. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you, Amrita. Thank you very much.